Hello and welcome to the Lander 98 channel. Today is a very different type of video. As you remember, well, for the couple people that actually watched it, this is the Lancia 037 body that I made for the New Year's stream. And see, already 3D printed out. And it fits my RC cars pretty good. Now, the reason for this video is how to remove these layer lines. Now, I've already lightly sanded them down, but that's not good enough at all. Another way to do it, at least initial thought, would be to a lot of primer. Now, that's okay and all, but that still shows your lines. However, what we're actually going to do is this. You can use any type of epoxy. But I like this stuff. Actually, I like the clear weld better because it gives you a little bit more time. But we're going to use the middle, the minute weld because Walmart didn't have any clear weld. Uh, the only problem is this sets in a minute, whereas the other stuff takes about five minutes. So i got to be quick with this stuff. But yeah, let's give it a go. But no, I like using this stuff. It might be a little on the more expensive side. It's about five, five, six dollars at Walmart. Or wherever you pick this up, I know it's almost eight dollars at AutoZone, which that's where I work. But yeah, what we're gonna do? Put some of this in my leftover mixing tray. Mix it with the stick, and we're gonna lather it on. Now, because we only get a minute, we're probably gonna use very limited amounts. So, it's already starting to ooze out. Come on! Ooh, that's a lot more than I wanted. Okay, hit that. I'm gonna have to put this lid on every time now, too. Okay. Mixing up the stick. Okay, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna start with the roof here. We got two roof scoops here, and we don't wanna lose those, so start by doing the tops here. Let's get the bottom of the stick here, but it's got a lot more gunk on it. Now this stuff is sandable as well, which is very nice. This side. I would advise putting a, using a stick first. I tried using a foam brush thinking that that would be good to level it out, but the foam brush actually just sucks up a lot of the stuff here, so you lose a lot of it to the, uh, the foam brush, which kind of sucks. You gotta make sure you layer it on. Or at least get it on the edge, because it might look good at initial, but as soon as you put some paint on it, you'll see the defects that you had in it. Okay, going up for the middle now. Probably a bit too much right there, so we'll put some on the hood here. That wasn't much at all. All right, now to the hood. Well, might actually be very good if I actually have this in shot here. Not used to doing camera videos like this. We're just going to get our primary spots here before we start dipping down into secondary spots like the indent in the hood here. Now you can do this around the entire vehicle here, even lightly on the sides. But because I got a lot of cars that this process has to be done to, because I mass produce these almost practically, as well as... Oh, I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, just because I have a lot of vehicles and I can't afford to just use an entire bottle on one car, I prefer to hold this stuff. Alright, so there's the hood. Now to the spoiler and trunk. Plus also, for the sidelines, even though this I really don't need to do, but I prefer to just to show it off here. Now it might look bad at first, but once you sand it down and get some paint on it, you'll be good. A 
Also, it would probably help if I used the new stick so then I could actually level it. Okay, let's see, that's level. May as well hit up the roof scoops, I mean the side scoops while we're at it. I already feel the stuff drying. Actually, it looks like we've layered it pretty good. Sorry for the bad potato can, I'm just using my phone. Alright, so we'll let that dry a bit, and we'll see what it looks like with primer. Actually, no. Not this car, maybe another car. And this right here is about what you could possibly expect, if not better, from the final project. Now, as we can see here, we're mainly focusing on the top here, especially this roof bit. That came out pretty good. This is a little bit messy because it's hard to get back there because of the spoiler. Let's just see the layer lines, especially because it's silver. Come on, camera. Yeah, they come out pretty good for hand done. Alrighty then. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope it helped. Leander98, signing off. Bye.